Hey, it's Lisa O'Neill here. Who do you think you are and what will people think are two of the biggest limitations I see in many humans. Both of these beliefs are buried deeply in the pockets of most of us. People worrying about what other people will think and people going, who do you think you are? These Both these things rise to the top pretty quickly when we suddenly decide we want more. We want to have, do or be more. And it's not helpful when our fear gets in the way of our greatness. So admitting to the world that you're an expert is a really big step. Fear will definitely get in the way. Failure, looking silly or being judged are all really relevant fears when you are putting yourself out there. Being known as someone who knows something will amplify this fear to a whole other level. So maybe you're a certified expert. You might have spent years studying or working at something that gives you an expert status. Or maybe, like me, you're not qualified in anything. You might just be a keen observer of humans, someone who's collected many experiences in your time on the planet. Or maybe you've just been born pregnant with possibility. Perhaps you arrived in this world with a fire in your belly, a need to help, to change or transform people, behaviours or organisations. So who do you think you are? Such a great question. How do you describe what you do? How do you explain your world in a professional or personal setting? Getting a sentence, an elevator pitch or a positioning statement about yourself is a really good start. But putting it out there, whole nother story. So coming out professionally, telling the world that you have something to offer is a really brave thing to do. It goes against the I don't matter, I don't mind, don't mind me kind of training that most of us have received growing up. When you commit to running a practice, this pushes you even further. It puts your name above the door and it deliberately positions you as the main act. So what will people think of all this? What will they say? How will they react? I remember when I wrote my first book, a friend of mine commented on how brave I was to put all my thinking out into the world to be judged. I was horrified. And all the time I'd spent writing my book, I'd never stopped to consider that someone might read it. I didn't feel brave. I suddenly felt very stressed. I was pushed into a spiral of what will people think? What will they say? How will the world respond? It didn't last very long. The good news is that people were kind. People were generous. Some were even impressed. So I think fear is usually created by the stories we've created in our heads. And this fear will get in the way of your greatness. Telling ourselves a story of what others might think or might do in response to our world is actually not useful. What is useful is the realisation that what other people think is none of your business. You need to be in the business of being great, the business of being fearful, of doing whatever it takes to get your message to the world. The world needs you. All of us just need to do the work.